single time! No. <laughs> it's perfect. You're gonna love it. The phrase eating is cheating. I blacked out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. I'm from the UK, land of tea, fish and chips, driving on the left-hand side of the road, and the Queen. And I'm Jeff. I'm from the US, land of the free, home of the brave, cheeseburgers, and Walmart. <laughs> and this is Brits versus Americans, where we sit down and finally discuss our differences. Drinking. Alcohol. Booze. The good stuff. The sauce. You got any more? Uh... The old ball and chain. <laughs> Tying one on? No? I, I don't know what that is. When you go out to get drunk, you're like, oh, tying one on. Mm-mm. Okay. Our drinking cultures are just, are, are so different. Um, the age we start drinking, the ways we drink. Let's get into it. Okay, Tom, so shotgun a beer is a classic American tradition. Yep. So it's time for you to try it out. I'm really nervous about this. What do you think you do? I think you shake it and then you pierce it, and then you, and then you drink it. Yeah, that's it, let's, let's try that out. Shake it, and then pierce it. You've let's got mischief in your eyes, that's not what you yeah, do. No, <sighs> definitely don't shake it. Okay. Because if you shake it and pierce it, it's gonna like explode all over you. Great. Which is what we don't want. Great. You're gonna take the can, and yeah. you're gonna pierce right around here. Okay. Um, and then, be careful, because it's full of beer. And yeah. So, with the first initial impact, it will probably squirt back at you a little bit. This is like when they teach you to drive and it's like, right, remember to do this and then the clutch <laughs> yeah. and then the, okay. No, there's a lot of technicalities in it. Oh, right, okay, so, okay, so, um, the more we talk about it, the more it's stressing me out. So yeah, I'm gonna stress out too, so, but so, I'm ready for you to. Can I just do it? Shotgunning the beer for the first time. Oh, okay, all right, okay, let's do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. No, you're good. You're all right, you're okay, good. okay, okay. Nothing okay. bad's okay, okay. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> the burp is an essential part. The beer was clearly a little. First of all, you did a great job. Thanks. And Jeff. it seems like you chugged it really, really fast, which is which is which is good. The beer was definitely shaken. It's nothing. It's like sheer panic when it goes. I was like, well, this is it now. I'm being filmed. Yeah. Two you did cameras. It really fast. Thank you. Once it's going, it's good actually. Yeah. I like the the flow of the yeah. thing. The initial impact is something that I could do without. Yeah. It, it, that, that's not supposed to happen. No, it doesn't no. normally. Okay, no. cool, great. Well, the most obvious place to start is the fact that we can drink at 18. You guys aren't allowed to drink to 21. 21. 21 is so. 20. One. That's so old. It's not so old. old. Like you graduate high school at 18, and then you go to college Got it. for four years. Okay. So I couldn't legally drink until I was a senior in college at the age of 21. So in the UK, obviously the drinking age is 18. You are you're still you're still in high school. So you're coming in and doing your lessons hungover, maybe. Oh well. Yeah. I don't think anyone really would come into school hungover because it was illegal and you like what are, weren't supposed to. Like, we, people would have parties on the weekends and stuff, but none of my friends were like, oh my god, I'm so hungover for my test today. Oh, for a big thing, um, drinking in the park. Your, like, friend's brother maybe has bought you, like, a three-liter bottle of, like, Frosty Jacks, which is, like, a sort of, um, cider, sort of. Okay. I think, I remember we did it once in, like, December time, and it was, like, snowing cold, and we were all just, like, six of us, like, sharing this one bottle of this, like, nasty cider and just that's what you would do. You can't drink at home. Yeah. Maybe one of your friends has got like a cool mom. The first time I ever got really, really, really drunk yeah. was probably 17 or 18. Wow. I feel like some parents were more lenient. I feel like some kids just stole it from their parents' liquor cabinet. Okay, and, right. Or like older sibling. <laughs> one of my friends, like she just looked older than she was. So she would always just like put on a pair of heels and like go in the shop and like it would work. Straw pedo, very simple. Straw in the top, bend it over, hold it like that so the air can get out. Don't sip it like this, it's gonna be like completely like that. <laughs> and then it'll just boom. How do you even, if you like do like a back bend while you're choking? Yeah, sure, okay. I don't know. Oh my God. Why am I so nervous? It's fucking <laughs> like drinking yeah, related, scary. I'm terrified. Go on. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, you didn't get the whole thing. I that was, didn't. That was pretty good. Yo. Okay. Do you see how fast it comes yeah, it out? Yeah, it goes really fast. Yeah. That, was, that surprised me. It does. <laughs> it's, it's the solitary <laughs> blue. <coughs> <coughs> it just tastes so bad. 
<coughs> okay. What state you're in in the U.S. also depends on the liquor uh, laws. Yeah, this is the most confusing thing. So in Maryland, beer, wine, and liquor all had to come from a specific shop. So you couldn't get it at the grocery store, you couldn't get it at the gas station, you had to get it at a specific liquor store. What is liquor? What do you mean by that? Spirits. Okay, okay. You don't call it liquor? No, that's so American sounding to yeah, me. I've called spirits, okay. So beer, spirits, and wine have to come liquor, from- Liquor, I don't even know where it's at. It's like, yeah. <laughs> is that a thing? Then in North Carolina, you could get beer and wine anywhere. Gas station, Walmart, uh, the drive-thru, cruise through, loved driving through. It's like going through the drive-thru McDonald's and you're uh -huh. just like, hey, I want all this stuff and then they give it to you. Really? Yeah. It's but awesome. like what, like, like eggs? I think you get anything. But we, uh, I only went there for- <laughs> What if you have like a 50 long like shopping list and I like- I don't know if you'd go for like your weekly shop, but okay. I, we would go to get like bags of ice and booze. Red Solo cups. But, oh yeah. But then liquor in North Carolina, you could only get from the ABC store, which was like a government run, like the scariest place on earth if you're underage because there's like millions of cameras security guards you have to go through like two double doors it's like it's like you're in Fort Knox. like prison or something that's it's so crazy the abc in store. california they don't give a f they sell everything everywhere you can get beer wine liquor at the grocery store easiest thing that's so weird but what if you go to a state you've never been to before you just have to ask a local and figure it out yeah oh. so college university obviously a big drinking time, regardless yep. of whether or not you're actually allowed to do it. Yep. College is about drinking. Although yeah. we don't endorse it, it like <laughs> kind of is. So we have Freshers Week in the UK. You don't call it freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? No, we don't do any of that. We just say Freshers, I guess, because you're because it's the first week. It's like, you know, Jaeger bombs are a pound, you know, or like apple sours or whatever it is. And like, you're just getting as f***ed up as possible. It's encouraged. It's almost like the university is like pushing you in that direction. Like that's what you should be doing. You can't go to the on-campus bars because you need a fake ID to get into them because you have to be 21. Oh. Or sometimes they let 18 year olds in, but you have huge like, permanent marker crosses on your hands. To like, don't serve this person. Yeah, so really? Like if, you a if you have a cup in your hand with an X, so you go to frat parties because they let you in and you know, it's like, it's harder to be found out if you're there. So it seems to me that at frat parties, it's all about like, it's like the idea of like organized fun. It's like you're, you've planned ahead, like what the thing is gonna be. Well, there's a little bit of competition between different fraternities. Like you have to have the best party because you want the best girls to come over to the mm -hmm. party. And then you want like people talking about you having the best party. So there has to be some organization. There has to be a good theme. There has to be good de decorations. There need to be good drinks. So the Van Stress parties I went to was like someone would come as like a Rubik's Cube. You know what I'm saying? But then you can't post pictures on Facebook. No, come on. Why would you not you, be able to do that? You can't post pictures of you like drunk at parties without it being like obvious that you're like underage and drinking. Well, who's, who's gonna, who cares? And the then, police is, you're not friends with the police on Facebook. Yeah, but like the school could see it and then they could see you're obviously at this fraternity's party and then they get in trouble. Like it's a whole thing. You have to be really, really careful. There was one time I was at a party in someone's dorm room and there was a knock on the door and we hid in the bathroom for like an hour while the police searched the place because I think there was a rule like they're not allowed to go into the bathroom because it's like a private place and it's like, I don't know, so we hid in the shower. I like, I did take a selfie of me like hiding in the shower with some of my friends. Terrified, like it's my like, first week of college and I'm gonna go to jail. You have to like be careful about walking home. If you're like stumbling or tripping over things or like wobbling, police can stop you. What? Like if police come into a party, you're running out the door because if you're caught underage drinking, it is, you know, you're going to jail. Like, <laughs> you're not going to jail. You, you, they'll, they'll take you to the drunk tank and put you in jail. What's the drunk tank? I think it's just where they, they're like holding you. Yeah. <laughs> this is horrendous to look at. This is so nostalgic for me. Really? Yeah. An activity, pastime. The tube needs to be above the funnel while the beer goes in. Got it. Then pouring also really matters. Okay. Just like when you're filling up a pint glass, you don't want to be beer bonging foam. You want to be like super careful, super nice. Oh, put your thumb over it too. Oh, yeah. I'm laughing out of sheer nervousness. I know, it is It is slightly a terrifying concoction. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is when I say three, you're gonna get down on one knee, and then as soon as it's by your mouth, you're gonna let go of your thumb and you're gonna go. And as soon as, <clears throat> because of gravity, it's gonna go fast. Okay, I can do this. You gonna count me in? I wish you luck. Thanks. Okay, three, two, one. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> well done! <laughs> Thank you. You did that really fast. It's in my eyes. <laughs> There's a little, there was a little <laughs> bit of squirting, but I didn't think. <laughs> Just give me a second here, guys. Whew. Yeah, you removed your thumb a little bit too. I didn't realize it was gonna come out with yeah. that, like, you know, yeah, vigor. Fast. Wow. I didn't think it, okay, I now understand why this exists. I thought it was just gonna like go at my own speed. No, 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 it's like the Strapido. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Great little thing though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm, so, I'm like being all happy about it. I've got like literally beer in my eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, I don't feel bad about the Yard of Ale now at all. Let's go. So you don't have road sodas? A journey juice? <laughs> I love the term journey juice. Journey juice. We, we would call it, like we call it roadies. Like if you were like in someone's neighborhood and you weren't expecting there to be police there, fine. But like you have to be really, really, really careful. But like having a few drinks in a park along with like a little charcuterie board or something. Oh, that's the thing. I feel like the action of drinking outside in itself, there's nothing wrong with that. As, wrong as long as you're it. able to carry yourself okay, then it's fine, right? Right. What is the deal with having open the brown paper bag. Yeah, what is that? I think because it's sold in a brown paper bag, it's just in that. I don't know if they have a right to go up to you to ask what you're drinking. But you know what I'm gonna say, which is that- If it's in a brown paper bag, it's obviously gonna be booze. Yeah, because yeah. why would you be hiding a soft drink? I don't know. It seems like a really weird technicality that like you're kind of getting around. Is that just what it is? Is a way of getting around the Yeah, because otherwise it would be like, I'm clearly drinking beer, even though you are clearly drinking beer because you're in a brown paper bag. It might as well be the beer itself. Because yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's almost like more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, weird. I don't know why that is. But, but it's not like, oh, as long as it's in the bag, you're fine. No, 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 you okay. still you can't be like drinking on the New York subway. Wow. Even though people do. What do you have there, Jeff? I have a walking stick. I feel like the like planters man or the peanut man or whatever. I don't know what that is. Oh. Is that an American thing? This is the kind of thing that like bachelorette parties would definitely get in Vegas and like sip like frozen pina coladas okay. from and like be like wow. This is very very long. Yeah, so this goes back to like the 17th century. It's no one really actually does this in the way that people do the beer bong. Like this is just more like I thought it would be funny. <laughs> so I just, I, I just can't imagine consuming this much alcohol in one period of time. Well, without further ado. Let's fill her up. What it... This just seems oh. unfair. It's taking so much. The bottom's not even full yet. That's so much alcohol. That's hella foam. Hang on. We might have to do this in two. Yeah. Wait, that's just, and that's just like, <laughs> imagine we've got that, that's a lot of head. <clears throat> what the f do I do with this? We're gonna so go very slowly. On the side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, finally, I think we're nearly there. This is, this is ridiculous. I didn't realize it was gonna take so long to do this. <laughs> this is so much beer. Really just have to be at the top. You don't have to chuck it, but you have to try and drink it in one continuous sip. But I, and I have to turn it. And I think if you turn it, that helps in some way, but I'm not actually massively sure why. If you guys wanna like go home, come back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. A solid start from Jeff. Yeah, lovely. You're doing well. A pause. Okay, but I'm gonna keep going because that's what we, we're here to do. <laughs> you keep going. Till the job is done. I'm with you, Jeff, come on. Something I can do in the meantime? Yeah, okay, cool. You're on the straight and narrow here. Look at, look at that, ooh, progress. Lovely. You do hell. Oh, that's just rude. Go on. Might take a while. Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah? You're giving up, you're tapping out? I hated that. Okay. It's just never ending too. I feel like maybe I took it too far with this. I, I... <gasps> <laughs> I think people that like beer, first of all, I don't really like beer. Mm. I think if you're a beer enjoyer, yep. this could be like a fun challenge. But yeah, for me, not my style of drinking. I either want to enjoy the drink that I'm drinking or get it over with as fast as possible. Yeah. I think also, I, rotating it was just getting really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm glad to know that we found something that is just too far for anyone. Like this, <laughs> there's something that we can agree on here and that's that a yacht of ale is too much it's ale. It's not necessary. Yeah, too much yeah. Sorry. Well, that was an unfair challenge because- Do you think? Yeah, the yacht of ale is so many beers in it. Yeah, it's, it's not fair <laughs> it's at all. Not fair. I, like, the beer bong is entirely dependent on how much beer you put in it. Yeah, like you can just put half a beer and it's fine. Yeah. Whereas that's like, it's it's a lot. 
like, I'm sorry. It's not fair. Yeah, it's also not fun. You're just drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beer bong, there's at least like an element to it. Okay, straw pedo though. How'd you find that? The straw part, fan. Okay. The alcohol part, not a fan. So you like the science? Yeah, like I would do that to a beer. Like why can't we, why, why did it have to be like blue, like battery acid? I'm sharing my experiences with you. Yeah, that's fair. I appreciate if you didn't all over them. Um, no, I think if it was a beer, it would be really, it would be too bubbly. Yeah, but that's gross. <laughs> the things we do have in common uh -huh. is chugging as fast as possible. For sure. Creatively chugging. Creatively. We want to know what you want us to talk about next. Like we could talk about anything. School, uh, TV, dating, movies, me. Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>